Hey everyone, it's Paige and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I haven't done a sit down video in a little bit, so I thought this would be fun. I turned 30. Yeah, the big 3-0, the dirty 30, and I'm excited about it. I feel like at this point in my life, I've really come into my own. This is the most confident and sexy and fearless that I've ever felt in my entire life. And I can't wait for my 30s. I think women are afraid to talk about their age because people talk about women when they get a little bit, well, past... <laughs> past 25 really, that they have a shelf life and they, they talk about us like we're expired milk. And that's just not true. I feel like I'm not expired milk, I'm wine. And I just keep getting better and better and better as the years go on. And I know I'm not wise, I'm still young. I'm 30 years old and that is a baby in the grand scheme of life. But still, I wanted to share five things that I have learned so far by the age of 30. Number one, it's okay to not know what you're doing with your life. There were so many times in my life that I didn't know what direction I was going in, what my purpose was, what I wanted to do. And there's a running joke in my family like, oh no, what's wrong with Paige now? I had a very unconventional upbringing where <laughs> I had health issues, like I had a hair condition and asthma and emotional issues and my parents were constantly worried about me when I was little and then I got into gymnastics and they're like, okay, maybe she found her thing, maybe this is it. Nope, <laughs> that wasn't it. <laughs> then I got into golf and they're like, okay, maybe this is her purpose and I showed promise for a while but then I got into college and those emotional issues came back and I lost my passion for golf and there was no clear direction. I had no idea what I wanted to do. And I remember my dad sitting me down and just being like, well, what do you want to do with your life? And I'm like, I don't know. I, I, I could be a coach, a golf coach. I, I love golf instruction and that's something that I'm, I'm passionate about, I could do that. And I've always walked to the beat of my own drum. And I think I struggled so much because a conventional way of life didn't fit who I was as a person. And it was so hard and difficult on me because it's like you're trying to put a square peg in a round hole. It's just not going to fit. And I'm sure that hand movement is gonna cause all these comments. And I, I see, I always set myself up for stuff like this. Anyways, you guys get the point. It's like fitting a square peg in a round hole. It's just not going to work. And so I was just struggling and struggling and I just I had to figure it out and I did. And I ended up kind of falling into what I was doing now, but this is exactly what I should be doing. And it just shows you that if there isn't a clear path for you, make your own path, build your own career. And that's what I did. That This golf influencer wasn't a thing. I created it, I built it. And now it's really cool to see all of these, uh, especially women coming up now, following exactly what I'm doing step by step by step. And it's laid out perfectly for them to be successful. But for me, I was like, what do I do now? Let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. I don't know. And I had to figure it out as I was going, but it ended up working out. And so be patient, understand that, you know, life is difficult. There's tons of twists and turns and ups and downs and find what your purpose is and what makes you happy. Also just what is your purpose? When I first started doing this, I was I had these grand ideas of I want to change the game and all of these things. And I woke up and I had so much pressure on me and I'm like, why? Well, I'm doing this to myself. I'm putting so much pressure on myself and it doesn't matter. What makes you happy? And to me, it was making silly videos, fun videos that made other people smile. That's what I wanted to do. So trust yourself, trust your instincts, and it does always work out. Just trust yourself. Number two is quality over quantity when it comes to friends. I remember it's like, how many friends do you have? And um, trying to be as popular as you possibly can be. I didn't have to worry about that too much because I was homeschooled. And so my only friend was my mother. And now I only have like a handful of friends who really, really know me and who I have let in. And I think that's okay. You don't have to have a ton of friends. And if you do have a ton of friends, 
great, more power to you. But that's just not something that really worked for me, especially with the life that I live now. It's really hard to stay connected and be a really great friend with how busy I am. And so I really try to prioritize my friendships now and I, I couldn't do it with a ton of people. And so you just, friends just walk away and it, you just can't keep that connection as much. And so I really try to focus on the quality friends that I do have and make sure that they're always a priority in my life. And you also don't want to have people in your life that bring you down. You should only have people in your life that lift you up and want the best for you. And there's so many times that you keep friendships around because you've known them for a long time or whatever reason it may be, but they don't fulfill you and they don't help you grow as a person and they're not there for you. And those are people you just don't want in your life, whether that's relationships or friendships, those people are negative and you don't, you don't have time for that. <laughs> And so I know it's hard to walk away, but you're gonna be so much happier when you do that and you do take that jump to only have quality friends in your life who make you a better person. And it doesn't also mean having yes men in your life. I think one reason I have been so successful for such a long time in this brutal industry that I'm in is because I don't have people who just say yes to everything and they make me question and think and they challenge me and they push me and that is so important too to have friends who can keep you humble and to question you and to always push you to be a better person as well and so finding your core group is so incredibly important when you do make sure that you prioritize them number three stop complaining <laughs> I used to complain about things all the time and I thought it would make me feel better and it never made me feel better. It just made me feel worse. And I got so sick of complaining about things when they were things that could change. And so I'm really trying now to not complain as much and to focus on things in my life that are good and positive. And also if there is a problem in my life, how can I change it and to look at it in a logical way? okay, this is making me unhappy. Here are the four or five steps, one step that I need to do to change my life or to do this or to that. We can always sit here and wonder and feel bad for ourselves. And there's definitely time for that because life is really hard and it kicks you down constantly. And so you can have a minute or five minutes to yourself to feel sorry for you and what's going on in your life. But get up, think through it. How can I make a change? What can I do to be a better person and to change what I'm doing? For me, it was therapy. I was making decisions in my life because of either unresolved trauma or I was just doing things to cause more issues for myself. Uh, you know, the, the list goes on and on and on. We don't need to get into that today because I want this to be more positive. But for me, it was healing myself and going to therapy and that really helped me with a couple things and then once those things came into uh, into place then other things in my life started to come into place and most of the time we do it to ourselves and you can complain about well maybe you want to be healthier well that's that's a change you can make you know and you can or maybe you want to drink less well you know there are steps or things that you can do to achieve that sometimes they're really really difficult and sometimes they're easy it really just depends it could be as easy as feeling better in the morning, making your bed, going for a walk, prioritizing your self-care. Again, we can make these changes in our life and we can feel sorry for ourselves too, but spending less time complaining and more time being proactive and really thinking through how can I make my life better has made me a much happier person. And trust me, there are days when this is not easy and I just wanna lay in bed and feel sorry for myself because life is shitty, <laughs> but you, you just get in a, a bad routine of doing that constantly day in and day out. And this goes back to number two of having good people in your life and good friends and a support system to help you um, make really positive changes and become a better person. Cause I know when I am doing things in my life that I know I should be doing, I am so much happier instead of doing things that I know I shouldn't be doing and then dealing with the consequences and then complaining about it. It's like, it starts with me and I can change it. So that's been something that I'm really working on that has drastically changed my life. Number four, it is okay to fail. I get the question a lot like, what is your biggest regret in life? Nothing. Every time that I have failed has been the biggest stepping stone 
in my life. Every mistake that I've made, I have grown and I've learned from it. And it's been the biggest catalyst within my career. The times where I've been my most unhappy and then I have failed publicly, I've had the biggest growth in my career. And it's because I'm trying to do different things and I'm pushing myself and I'm challenging myself. It's easy to stay consistent when you're doing the same thing every single day, but you're not gonna have much growth doing that. And so it's pushing yourself and knowing that you might fail, but then learning from that failure and knowing how can I change it? How can I fix it? I've tried to incorporate that into my personal life and also into my business career. And again, it's okay to fail. You should be failing. You should be pushing yourself and you should be doing things that are scary. There are so many things throughout the year that I'm like dreading doing because I'm nervous about it because I'm nervous I'm going to fail or I'm nervous about what the outcome is going to be. And every time it's over, I'm always like, I'm so glad I did that. I'm so glad I pushed myself. I'm so glad I took that step, which was scary and not fun. And I did it. And whether it was successful or not, I either learned something from it or I was so happy that I did it. And so it's push yourself, fail, keep challenging yourself, keep pushing forward because that's when you're going to see the biggest growth in your life. Number five, life should be fun. Relationships should be fun. Uh, work should be fun. Everything in your life should be fun. And of course, there is going to be times in your life that it's not fun <laughs> at all. But if you don't have that, then you're never going to get through the really hard times and laughing in a relationship. I didn't know that was a thing. Like I didn't know that you should have that much fun in relationships and it can happen and it should happen and, and work too. There's so many times where I wake up and I'm like, I'm so excited for today. I cannot wait to get out there and do something and try something different. And I'm always pushing myself. And at the core of it is just fun and being excited and you can make that change and you can cater your life around what makes you happy. I think we get so stuck in these ruts and doing the same thing over and over and over again. Um, and, and you just feel like that's what life should be. I used to get that a lot. Well, it's just what life is, you know, like people argue that's just life and you know, everyone hates their job. That's just life. No, it's not. You can live a life where there's a lot of joy and excitement and fun and you can push yourself to do that and you can make changes and there might be sacrifices in other areas of your life but at the core of it you should have so much fun doing what you're doing and i am finally at this point in my life having so much fun and being passionate about what i do in every aspect of my life i'm feeling confident and comfortable in my own skin and i'm so excited for 30 but i'm still a young yun. <laughs> i'm a little baby still so i want to hear from you guys so drop some life advice for me or for whoever is watching this video down below in the comments. I want to hear from you. What is something that you've learned or something that I have let out? Maybe this is a very naive look at the world and it's because I am still so young and maybe I'll do a video in 10 years and 20 years and look back on the things that I said and been like, I can't believe I just said that. You're so dumb, Paige. But I want you to share some of your insight with me. So comment down below. I hope you guys like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I have so much fun stuff coming and in the works and I can't wait to uh, to share it all with you so that is all for today bye guys